Hello everybody. So this is uh, uh, Shrikant Dasari uh, from Dasari Twitch. Okay. So in this uh, uh, lesson, uh, we are going to learn about uh, so how to uh, grab uh, an integer as input from keyboard uh, uh, using the buffer reader class uh, in Java. Okay. So in the last couple of lessons, we have learned uh, uh, using uh, so how to use our uh, buffer reader class, buffered reader class, which is defined in uh, Iver package. Uh, to grab a character and string separately. So the reason I am uh, dissecting uh, uh, this small topic into uh, this many uh, sub lessons because uh, the the user need to have an uh, clear uh, sorry uh, the the student or uh, whoever it might be whoever might be watching this tutorial uh, should have a clear understanding uh, so how to grab uh, so different different uh, data types as input from keyboard. Okay, so the scenario changes with each and every data type uh, in Java. Which is not as very straightforward in C or C++. Okay, that's the reason I'm dissecting the lessons in uh, a number of uh, subtopics here. Okay, so first let us uh, launch the IDE. So we know that we are using uh, NetBeans uh, 8.2. Let me create a new project here. So Java Java application. So let's name our project as a, a buffer. So buffered uh, or it's buffered integer. So input. Okay. So whatever you wanted, you can uh, uh, name your project. So NetBeans, as usual, comes with all lot of uh, uh, basic stuff here. So I've just got rid of everything, and again, again I am uh, typing the code from very scratch here. Okay. So buffered. Uh, so integer. Input. Okay. So okay. So I've done with. I've just typed the name of the package here. I'm just putting the semicolon. So first, as we know that we need to import our uh, Java dot Ivo package okay so after that uh, let's define our uh, class uh, okay so the definition of the class goes like this class public class preferred so integer input okay so we're done with our uh, class name so all these things are very basic stuff okay so public static so wide main followed by string arcs okay so we need to use this uh, throws io exception exception okay so we have just done with our uh, main method also okay so to demonstrate how to take an integer input using a buffered uh, buffered reader okay class or buffered reader class so let's take a uh, uh, three variables. So one is a string str, and uh, let's take another uh, integer with two couple of integer variables. I were one uh, and uh, int I were two here. Okay. So I have just taken a, a couple of uh, strings, uh, single string uh, variable, uh, and a couple of integer variables here. Okay. So okay. So now what we are going to do is uh, so first let us create an object for our uh, buffered reader here. Okay. So buffered uh, reader the object goes here like object goes like this so buffer reader pr is equal to new so buffered uh, buffered reader so bu new buffered uh, reader and within that as we have done in the last lesson we have uh, created a new input uh, stream reader so system dot in here okay so we have just created an object for our uh, buffered uh, reader uh, class here okay so then another silly mistake here the system should be in capital s since it's case sensitive okay so we have done with our uh, uh, we just created a buffered uh, reader object for buffer reader class so now what we are going to do is uh, let's have a small message such that it shows up in the output window here system dot uh, print ln so let's say something like this uh, so enter an integer value some small message just to show up in the output here okay so after that uh, we need to have uh, first we need to take our uh, string variable okay so the reason we are taking string here uh, here because uh, so if you are using here the read line method uh, with this uh, buffer reader object so that takes uh, only that accepts only strings okay or strings okay so now what you what you got to do is uh, Take that string and convert int in, into an integer and store it in integer variable here. Okay, so you grab the string. So whatever the output, if the user gives an uh, uh, input as an integer, it's stored as an string. 
because uh, the syntax of uh, uh, br dot read line method uh, can accept only strings here okay so for that reason we have taken a, a string variable and assign that uh, uh, read line uh, whatever the uh, user gives in the console window as an input uh, which is a string and then we would convert that into a integer variable using this uh, syntax or this method which is known as uh, integer dot integer dot parseint of string okay so this is the basic syntax uh, we need to do something like this okay then you are eligible uh, to print it out uh, then uh, that integer in the that thing in the form of an integer here okay so system dot so out dot print ln so now you can say something like this uh, the integer so taken as uh, input from user is equal to so you can have your uh, so i were one with the concatenation operator okay so now you get uh, the exact integer uh, you are intended here okay so again so this is the case we need to uh, follow the this specific syntax here okay so if you run the program it asks us for uh, uh, to enter an integer value here so if you press 23 it gets converted into an integer using that uh, parse int method uh, and then your uh, and then you are able to uh, print it out or else uh, can do any kind of calculation with that so apart from this syntax uh, you can also do something like this uh, like uh, so apart from the above syntax you can also uh, do something like this so, so we have taken another variable here which is uh, uh, i where Two, okay so which is uh, i where 2 here okay so you can do something like this uh, uh, so integer directly you can put both the things in one line here so integer dot uh, parse uh, parse int of buffer reader object dot uh, read line uh, method okay so here if you observe uh, have uh, done the whole thing in a single line here okay so I have taken uh, the whole thing. Uh, so first in the previous exam, in the previous syntax, uh, what we have done is uh, we have just first taken a string uh, variable to read. Uh, so whatever the content uh, the user puts in the output window, the stores in the string, and then we are converting that into an integer and storing it in into an integer variable here. Okay. So uh, in the next uh, type of syntax, let's put another uh, system dot dot print message here. Okay. So let's uh, for better understanding, I'm putting another message here. So enter another uh, integer so value okay so this even works for you this should works for you well okay so enter another integer value so you can grab uh, an another integer directly uh, not uh, as in the previous syntax we have taken uh, an string and converted in it into an integer and then we have stored it in, into an integer variable so in the next uh, type of syntax we have directly uh, done the whole thing in a single line here okay so you can have the system dot out dot uh, print ln message once again system dot uh, out dot print ln you can have put it directly here The integer uh, value. So the integer value i where two is equal to i where two. Okay. So another integer value. The integer input. Uh, the integer. Let's change this message also. The integer value. So integer value. So i where one is equal to. So I have grabbed two integers and then we have just outputted it. Uh, so if you run the program once again, so it asks for the very first integer. Let's say one. It asks. <laughs> it skipped a bit here. Okay. Let's run it once again. Interesting. Okay, so one, so it asks for another integer, it's two, okay. So successfully we have entered uh, two integers here, okay. So let's take, uh, let's do a small mathematics here. Uh, so let's say, let's put a small thing extra. So sum is equal to, so I where one 
plus uh, i were to just to prove that we have just uh, taken uh, two legitimate integers here okay so again you can make use of your uh, system dot out dot uh, print ln system dot out dot print ln method uh, just to print out the sum so the sum of uh, okay sum is equal to or else directly can put it to keep it simple uh, let's say sum here okay so what happens here is it just calculates the sum and it just uh, prints them on the output screen here okay yep. so let's say one and two okay so let's put that uh, System dot dot annoying statement out of here. Yeah, the sum you get here. Okay, so for run the program for one last time, if you say minus one and minus one, you get the sum as minus two here. Okay, so this is the basic uh, uh, stuff how to grab an uh, integer, uh, uh, legitimate uh, integer type uh, using. Uh, uh, using a buffer reader uh, uh, class uh, buffer reader class in java okay so this is not very uh, straightforward uh, as we do in uh, uh, c++ or uh, in c so in java you need to put a lot of effort uh, to take integer especially while you are using a buffer reader class here okay to summarize once again uh, what we have done here is uh, let me put it in a comment taking so taking integer as an input uh, from keyboard that's what we have done here I'm just putting it in a comment here okay so to summarize once again uh, the first we have taken uh, integer in two different methods here the first we have taken a string variable and then we have uh, uh, read a string using this read line method and inst initialized that string into an uh, str variable here okay and then we have passed it uh, unless and until you pass that uh, or else you convert that string literal or else whatever the string you have fed into the into the uh, input uh, into an integer you can't uh, make use of that uh, you can't uh, declare uh, or else you can't decide that as an integer and you can you can make use of that in your uh, arithmetic calculations so for that reason now you need to pass your uh, uh, string into an integer using this integer dot uh, parse int method and then you have uh, uh, and then we have taken another variable uh, in, that, in this syntax uh, in the second integer variable when you are reading we have directly put that uh, parse integer dot uh, sorry the br dot read line method uh, directly inside the integer dot parse int uh, method here okay so in that way you can uh, take a grab a string uh, from the output window and directly convert it into an integer and then store it into an integer variable okay so uh, we have just outputted uh, the both the integer values which we have uh, taken from the keyboard and then we have just uh, calculated a small sum and we have outputted the sum here okay so this is the basic stuff how to uh, grab an integer so if you like the video hope it it would help you um, you can get a you can give a thumbs up and uh, feel free to uh, comment on the tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as to to stay updated with the future releases uh, of video tutorials on all topics in uh, programming languages okay so until that time goodbye